Okay, this is Dr. Krauss with a quick video on how to use IPython and Notepad++ together, or basically how to um, take a file, edit it in some kind of text editor, run it in IPython, and then go back and forth making changes as needed. Um, so I'm going to do this using the normal IPython console. You can use the Qt console. I'm going to do that mostly because that seems to be the easiest way for me to change the fonts which I don't seem to be able to change that setting. Um, but I want this to be pretty big on my video. There we go. So I have this file in my text editor and it's saved in this folder and I happen to know where this folder is. And the key thing is I got to take IPython and I've got a CD or change directory into that folder. And the easy, one easy way to do that is to browse using the Windows kind of file explorer, file manager, whatever this thing is called nowadays and browse to that folder and then click up in the address bar and you can see that it highlights it and then I can control C and or right click to copy that. I come back over to IPython, CD, right click and now I'm in the folder that contains the file that I wanna run. If I wanna verify that, I can type ls star.py and it'll list any Python files in that directory and I can see the file that I want to run. From that point, I just say run pulse.py and it generates my figure. And then if I wanted to come over here and make some changes, maybe I want to add a label to my X axis. I would then save the file, come back over to IPython, hit the up arrow to get to the previous command, hit enter. And now it regenerated my figure and it put time in seconds as my label on the x-axis. So edit the file, save it, flip over to IPython, run it, and then go back and forth as necessary. And the key first step is to CD into whatever directory I want to be working on. And then I use the ls star.py command to list the Python files in that directory to see that I'm in the right directory. Then if I hit control D, to close IPython and I were to restart it, because of its command line history functions, sorry, I'm gonna change the font again. Um, I can just say CD and then hit the up arrow and it remembers what folder I was in and then I can hit run and hit the up arrow. And so I'm back into that same folder if I had gone away and was coming back to do more work. Let me know if you have any more questions, thanks. Thank mm -hmm. you.